Hello everybody, it's the Fragrant Jock here with another honest opinion. I hope everybody's safe and well. Today's honest opinion is another KDJ that I've ordered recently. As I say, I'm going through this house because so far what I've uh, purchased and smelled is really well worth it. Um, and I'll say it again with companies like Dua and KDJ. Um, they smell just as good or better than the original and as I say I've went full circle so it just means you're saving money but if you want um, the originals then that's up to you, that's up to any, any individual but for me for the bottle and the packaging it's a complete waste of money with some of them. Anyway today's honest opinion is on this if I can focus again. Uh, maybe a bit closer. No, he's not doing it. He's not doing it for me. It's the Blazing Mr. Sam. Pen Halligan's Blaze. The Blazing Mr. Sam. I don't know if he'll focus. Focus. Takes a wee while sometimes, and then it focuses. I just need to get used to this camera. Anyway, Pen Halligan's a really, really old company. Um, started in London in 1870 by Will William Penhaligan, who was a Cornish barber. And he actually rose to the royal court because he actually was the, the barber that shaved or cut the Shah of Persia's beard. Or, as we know, the Shah of Iran. Persia was Iran. And um, so I think in 1869, he moved to London. 1870, he opened the first Penhaligon shop in London in 1872. He had his first fragrance, Haman Bouquet. Uh, that was his very first fragrance in 1872. So they date back a long time. Some of the notes in this, I wish it would focus. Some of the notes in this, um, Blazing Mr. Sam, are cardamom. Black pepper, saffron, cumin, tobacco, cedar, patchouli, vanilla, cinnamon. That's what I. That's the notes I get from it. Um, to me, I'm going to try and focus a bit better in here. Oh, there we go. Top notch. Easy done. Um, this is a quite a complex scent. I've seen a couple of reviews on it. They're not very convincing. Some people say it's quite it was really good. For me, I've got it in my hand now. I've only had it two days though. I'm gonna let it settle. Because I think that would that's what I do with all the KDJs and it works. But for what I've smelt so far, this is a fifty percent oil again. It cost me, because I'm NHS, I got it for like £27, so it's a great deal, but normally it's about £35, and it's free shipping. This took a wee bit longer than the, the two days, but normally it's, the, the shipping's quick, and it's free. The, 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 the KDJ shipping is it's definitely not a rip-off. I mean, if you check your parcel, he's sending it first class, and it's about £3 odds he's paying, so it's a good deal. You're not having to pay for that. But this is quite a complex scent, but for me, it really is nice. I would say it probably slightly leans masculine, but, you know, kind of middle, but it's, it's just a small percentage. But for me, this is really borderline, or is gourmand. Um, I think it's the vanilla and the saffron that do that and with the cinnamon. Definitely. That, that's what does it for me. And that's the main players in this fragrance. It really is nice. It really is a lovely scent. And so far, when I put it on yesterday, although I, I don't normally do that, I usually leave it a few days or even a week, and it usually smells a bit different. And it probably will. If I leave it this time, it'll probably last longer. But it lasted well. And I think the original... Uh, i seen one of the Aussie reviewers saying that two sprays was enough of this. It really is quite powerful and strong. 
It's quite heavy and very vanilla, a lot of vanilla, cinnamon. So I wouldn't say it's ideal for really hot summer days, but cool summer nights, cool summer mornings, yeah. It really is quite a, it really is a lovely scent. This is the first kind of inspired Pint Halligans I've tried. I've not tried the, the reviews of the, or I've not tried the original Blazing Mr. Sam, which comes in an absolute gorgeous bottle, but it retails for £204 for 75ml, which is quite expensive compared to this. But what I've seen in the re reviews for this, and the, I've looked at Frequentica and the Blazing Mr. Sam, they're, they're, almost, they're just about similar. Um, and it's mixed reviews, but this is definitely Gourmand for me. And it really is a lovely fragrance. So if you like that kind of Gourmandy, leaning slightly masculine, unusual scents, this is the way to go. Because I think Penhaligans, most of them are quite unusual. Uh, well, I can tell with the names, really. The tragedy of Lord George and things like that. I mean, where they get these names for, I'll never know. I think it's based... I looked at the story for it, it's based on a kind of story around about a house and everybody visits the house or whatever. Anyway, Blazing Mr. Sam, really, I do rate it. This is really a lovely, complex scent, but very gourmandy. So if you like that, you'll like this. So it's another KDG winner in my, my book, and I totally recommend it. But I hope everybody's safe and well and have a great weekend. Enjoy the football. Um, you know, I'm a Scotsman. Do I want England to win? It doesn't matter to me because I've got a brother and sister in England. But for the sake of the commentators, you'll never hear the end of it. Um, but may the best person win, that's all I can say. All right, bye for now.